Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the alphabet challenge. So if I'm not mistaken, we are on the letter O and I figured we could do old because <laughs> uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of stuff that's old um, and I have this really cool book that um, I found on my shelf. And so I figured we could use that. Um, I actually really like this cover, so I can't wait till I finish using all of the pages and then I can make like a little mini journal. I think that'll be super cute. That or I could just gut it completely, use the pages as, you know, as I will, and then I can make the journal. But anyway, um, I figured we could use old. I'm gonna use uh, the tags. Um, I got these tags from Miss Caroline and they're beautiful tags. So I figured we could use those. Um, let's see. Oh, and I'm going to try to keep an eye on the frame to make sure that we're not um, embellishing off camera because I think in the last video I was off camera a little bit. So I'm going to make sure to keep an eye on the, on the, on the screen to make sure you guys I'm seeing or you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Does that make sense? I'm just rambling on. Just don't mind me. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. I have no idea what I'm doing other than using pages from this old book. Oh, uh, and by old, I mean by 1840. Boop. Y'all see that? 1840. Uh, and it's The Adventures of Gil Blas. Translated from the French of, uh, no idea. But it's a cute little book and it's got a couple of pictures. There's one there and there's one there. It doesn't have a lot of pictures, but I think I mostly got it because it was super tiny. I like tiny books. They're easy to play with. Oh, and look at these pages. Isn't that cool? They're like torn apart right there. I don't know why, but they are and I like it. I might use those actually. Anyway, if I can find them again. Um, so... We're going to use the timer here for a thought of minutes and we're going to start right now. Okay, I'll set that up there. Hopefully it doesn't scare me when it goes off like it normally does. Um, okay, so I guess the first thing we should do is get the pages out. Oh, there they are. Oop, found them. All right, so I'm just going to gently pull these right on out because I'm going to rip them anyway because the bottom's ripped. So, I don't know how many I just pulled out. Two. And I think I'm going to decorate this side and leave this side pretty. I think, I think, I think, I think. Alright, so I'm pull that off. And I'm going to pull that off. And we're going to pull that off. And you're still not fit. small enough. Alright. Here we go. Grab my glue over here. I should probably have a glue book out, but I don't. I'll just use my paper here. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe we should do that side. I like that. That chapter. I think I like the chapter better. And it's old paper, but I'm not sure how fragile it is per se. I don't I don't have all of the knowledge of paper. So it's just paper gluing down but it's on a sturdy cardstock so I think it'll be fine either way so let's do that and then oh we can make like a little collage a uh, bit with the pieces that we tear apart oh that'll be fun all right so let's do this and this and this and 
Blip, 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 blip. We'll put you back there. What's what's this side? Nothing. Okay. So are you guys doing this alphabet challenge too? And if you are, are you enjoying it? Is it challenging you? What is your favorite part of the challenge? And what is your least favorite part of the challenge? I think my least favorite part of the challenge is trying to come up with something to correspond with the correct letter. Okay. Uh, my favorite challenge actually is obviously getting to play with stuff. Coming up with different things to do with each letter once you figure out what to do. So I thought about doing ocean because um, I think Miss Allison had mentioned octopus and I was like, ooh, that'll be fun because I actually have a digital kit that would go really well with that. And I thought about doing it, but I wanted to try to do stuff that other people could do too. And old is just a, it's perception. Like something that is two years old could be old to you. So it doesn't have to be from the 1800s. It could be from, you know, three years ago. If it's old to you, then it counts in my head. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that's going to disagree with me because there always is. But old is perceptive. You know? You know, you know? It's like um, actually vintages as well. It depends on um, what you're talking about, what kind of you know item you're talking about. Because a vintage car is not going to have the same date and timeline as something like a vintage wine. Because a vintage wine is like what 20 years old or 10 years old or something like that. It's not from the 1900 or from like 1900 and 1910 and stuff like that. You wouldn't be able to drink it anyway. It would be really quite bitter. Oh, that's upside down. Let's go that route. All right, we're going to trim this one up a little bit. So what have you guys been doing during this quarantine? Are you guys going out and about since a lot of the states are reopening now? Are you venturing out? Um, are you, you know, getting out of the house, going shopping, stuff like that? Or are you playing it safe and staying indoors? Um, I am personally looking for my little punchy hole thing at the moment. Um, okay, screwdriver works. Um, But I am one of the ones that is kind of playing it safe. Uh, we went out kind of, sort of. Uh, we had to go to the car dealership because my husband blew out a tire on this truck. And I don't know if you guys know this, but my husband drives a two-ton diesel. So it's a big thing. He doesn't have um, little itty-bitty... Um, you know what? I think I'm going to use Old Lace, too. Um... So he doesn't have like a spare as like a donut, you know, he has a spare as in it's one of his tires. Um, so when he put it on, it, uh, first of all, we had to call roadside assistance to have them come out because we don't have a floor jack. And with that truck, you really should be putting it on a floor jack to change the tire because it's so heavy. And where it was, it kind of, um, we didn't really trust the jack that we have. So, and we have roadside assistance through our insurance and it doesn't cost us anything extra or anything like that. It doesn't raise our premium, nothing like that. So we did that. And that was a little while back, a um, couple weeks, but my daughter, my daughter graduated. I'm so excited. 
Um, she got her diploma. Uh, she is the first of three to graduate high school. I am so excited for her. But anyway, needless to say, it's been a very busy, busy time for us. So, um, because it wasn't a donut, he was still able to drive on it. It just cosmetically looked a little funny. So, we went ahead and got it changed. And we did that this weekend. Um, so, we actually did that after her graduation. Um, we dropped off the truck and then went out to eat. And that was like our first venture out um, since, what, March? And it was so funny because where we went to eat, we went to um, Crackle Barrel. And there was an hour and a half long wait because when they sit you down, there is no one around you. Like, it was like 20 feet apart from other people. It was actually really nice and reassuring, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I might have enough to go all the way around. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Um, but anyway, it was nice. It was nice getting out of the house. Everybody was out. Um, the kids had fun. It was kind of funny because they hadn't worn a mask yet because, you know, they haven't been out of the house yet. And so I actually, um, I had made some masks for my daughter's work and my husband's work. And I had sold a couple of them on, uh, you know, YouTube live sales but I had some left over. So I just used those and they're, you know, they're adult size masks, but my youngest daughter, she's only eight. So I had to tie the elastic piece, uh, in a knot so it would fit around her ears, but it fit nicely. It actually covered her entire face. instead of just her mouth and her nose. I mean, her eyeballs were a little, a little out. So, I mean, that's good. So she could still see. But, trying to keep an eye on the frame here. Make sure y'all can see. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I am liking this one. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I know you're not supposed to say that, but I do. And I think it's cool. All right. So that's all of that little bitty lace I have left. This was actually what was left of um, one of the laces that I sell on the shop. Because if it's less than a yard, if it's super popular, then I will sell what's left of it. Like there was one that I sold. It was instead of 36 inches, it was like 34 inches. Um, and I knew that that was going to sell. So I went ahead and did that. But normally I'll just take them and... And these are little snippet things that I had made uh, just to kind of have ready. Um, let's do what? I'm trying to put it up here to kind of cover up this little connection piece right here is what that's why I'm going in that direction. There we go. I thought I heard my husband's chuck. I was like, oh my goodness, you're home already? You just, you just got to work? All right, so I'm going to grab this box here, which I have a lot of my ready-make embellishments in here. Some of them I've made and some of them I have not. I did not make hearts. I pretty much, I think I made everything else. Not any of the quilted stuff I didn't make because I don't know how to quilt. 
Um, that is on my next agenda of let's learn how to do this. That's pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. I like the color combination on that. I think we'll use that one. All right, let's put you all back in here. And as you can see, my tags from previous videos are in here. I got the little mini ones. Oh, that doesn't go in there. There's nothing with that. But I made a bunch of little tiny clusters I need to put in here, but there's not really room as you can see. Let's do this one. Do I have? I don't think I have any eyelash trim that will match this color. But I do have white and I do have ink. And then I think I'm going to leave this open so you can like stick a little something something in there. I like that a lot. Cute little tag. Alright, we'll figure out what to put up here, if anything. We may not put anything up there, but I'm going to set that one aside. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Alright. Um, I really like this piece here, but I don't know that I want to cover up all of that old, oh, that actually works out really nice because you can still see it in the background. And the fact that it goes over the tag, I kind of like that too. All right, so how am I going to put you down? I think. Let's see. Let's just do a little bit here. And a little bit here. Push it down. Okay. And then um, I don't think I have this one on the shelf just yet. I might actually. I'm not sure. Maybe I do. I lose track of what I've got on there and what I don't. Because <laughs> I still have a couple that are inventoried, but they're not on the shop yet. Alright, and then let's see. Let's trim this so it's a little easier to manage. I don't want the white one. I just want the blue one. There we go. This is like a smoky blue. It's really, really pretty. All right, go in there. I'm just kind of outlining it because I'm not sure what I'm going to put on top of it yet. And I didn't do it on this side because there's a lot of the open space and I didn't know what I was going to do to it yet. So I didn't want just, you know, hot glue showing. Alright, do I cut the top or not? Hmm. Oh, the dilemma. I think I'm going to cut it. And that's a nice chunk of lace, so I'm going to save that. But like these little itty bitty pieces like this, I don't, I don't save that. But pieces like that, I'll save. Because I can make stuff like this with them. Let's see, 
what can I put on you? I think I might actually have like a green blue. Yep, right there. like it up in this corner. All right, let's see what we got in our little box of goodies. Hmm. There's something there. That's really pretty. Oh, and then we could add this on top of that. Under, over, under. Um, you know, I think I like it better in the corner. Or not at all. Come here. I like that. It's a nice giant blue heart. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Do that one instead. Oh, I like that. I like that better. Okay, we're not going to use the little. We're going to use the big. Go in there. Arr! Go in the box. I told you I'm running out of room in this thing. I've already put um, a lot of the pieces that I've made with the outfit challenge. I already put a lot of them on the shop, uh, but I still have some left in that box <laughs> and they're taking up a lot of space. All right, so we're going to put you right there. All right, and now we're going to go through and add Jacqueline. Now I do have a little bit at a time because not all of it is over the tag, you know, some of it is off of the tag and I don't want to, again, have hot glue showing. So when you flip the tag over, you're not going to see the glue. Now I'm not perfect and I'm sure that it happens sometimes. It's funny when I say that phrase, I'm not perfect. My husband's like, what? When did that happen? It's hilarious. He's funny. He's, he's a sweet guy. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And you can still even see the paper in the background. At least I can't. I don't know if y'all can, but yeah, you can. It's back there. I love that. Okay, so the last one. Oh, let's see. What do we want to do with this one? Um, what do I have left in my little jar here? Old, old, old. Oh, that one's old. Boop. And see, I just used these little teeny tiny doilies. Uh, I don't remember where I got them. I got them last year. I don't remember where, though. I got them off of Etsy. I remember that much. There's this piece. I don't really want to use that piece though because it'll cover up all that collage. I think I might want to just do that. I really want to keep this like this. All right, put that over there. Put that over there. Okay. So we're just going to lift up this, put a little anchor glue right there. Whee!
There we go. Alright, let's trim this. And this is, I don't know how old it is. It may or may not be vintage. I have no idea. Um, it's just, it's pretty. And I like it. And it's old. I don't know how old, but old. Alright. I think my daughter might need help with something. They're doing schoolwork right now. It's funny, I was talking to a friend of mine, they're like, you need schoolwork, it's June. It's like, yeah, we homeschool. They do schoolwork year round. Like my daughter right now, um, in public school, she would be like at the end of second grade, going into third grade. And she has already started the, uh, the third grade curriculum. Uh, at the rate she's going, she'll be finished with that in November. And then she can start the fourth grade in, you know, December, take a month off or something, you know. I don't know. It really just depends. Sometimes we take a month off and sometimes we take two months off. It's just kind of all over the place. Oh, I like that. I like that because you can still see the in the back. I like that a lot. I kind of like the pink, the peach. It's actually a peach. But I like this mint one too. I think I like that one. Mm. Do the blue. Just a little tiny pop of color. I actually I think I like the blue better. Oh, the dilemma. I think I like the blue better. I know, surprise, I like the blue better. I know that shocks you all. But, you know, green is a hue of blue as well, so I like green too. Just on the side here. We're not going to glue through the lace. I'm just going to leave it open and flappy. All right. Ooh, I have these pretty little flowers I can add too. Maybe not. They just happen to be on my desk. Oh, I like that. All right, let's see. Where is my seam binding? Did I put it away? Did I put my seam binding away? Did I, did I? No, I did not. All right. So, let's grab. All right. One. Two. And three. All right. I love this color. Um, it's beige. That is the color. And this is Hug Snug. If you've never seen my channel, haven't seen me pull this out. It's Hug Snug. I get it off of Etsy. Um, actually, I have a little tiny bit of time. Two minutes. All right, let's see. Do I have enough time? Probably not. 
Oi. I am looking for seam binding that I know I have of different colors, but I think I'm just going to have to go with what I have here. Oh, that's pretty. And because I don't have time, I have a minute left. All right. Let's move you out the way just a smidge. And then pull you, pull you through, possibly. There we go. All right. So there's a one. There's one. Where'd my other one go? Oh, that, one, that one's covered up. And then we'll put these two together. I'm gonna have to cut that. It's gonna yell at me here in a second. I know it. Don't mind me if I jump. Alright. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I like it when things surprise you. Oh, jeez. I knew it was going to yell at me. Stop. Alright. Oh, I like how that turned out. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so this one, the hole's covered up on this one, so there's no thingy on that one. Isn't that pretty? All right, so I think we made the time all right. You go over there. You go over there. So we've got this one here. Which one was our first one? This one. So we have this one here with our little pocket, our pocket on a tag. And we have this one, which is our second one. And then, then, and then, then, and then, then, we have this one, which is our third one. I might take this off or add something to it because I feel like it's a little plain. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Um, Actually, I have no idea what this is, but uh, we can color it. We can color everything. Uh, not with that one. Nope. That is my, I'm going to mix all the colors together brush. Um, oh, there it is. I just have a little container cup thing over there that's got all of my brushes in it. And this is archival ink, so it is permanent. It's not going to change colors or anything when you wet it. And the color I'm using is coffee. Coffee! Sorry, I like coffee. Ah, very cool. All right, now, <clears throat> are you gonna rip for me? Mm. 
Oh, well, maybe if I cut you first, you might not see me. All right. Nope. Ooh. Nope, that doesn't want to rip. Nope, at all. I don't have another one of these. Oh, I know what I do have, though. I have this. Let's see. And I know this will rip. Um. Nope. Alright. I guess I should have ripped that part. Excuse me. There we go. Alright. Um. Let's rip it first and we'll do something with that later. Um. There's good. Hey. Come back here. Alright, now we're going to darken this one up, or my fingers, you know, that works too, I guess. You could also just take your thing and just smear it straight on here, you'll get a much darker color. In. All right, so what's the next letter? P. We can do ponies! <laughs> we can do paper. You know, that works too. Paper. Maybe I should color the seam binding too. You think? I think. We're just going to color everything. Oh, yeah. Coloring. Y'all didn't know you came to watch my channel to color, did you? <laughs> kind of sounded evil. <laughs> Alright. Zero voila. Alright, now we're going to take this one and this one. And we're going to twist him. Twist him. Take this little guy here. Poke him through the hole. Poke. Poke him through the hole. Um. Look, look. Put my big old fat fingers through there. There we go. Now I gotta spread them all out so you can see them. Alright, that's the back. And that's the front. Oh, I like that. That's cool. I like it. I dig it. Alright, cool beans. So, well, that's it for the little O for old. So I used old paper as well as old lace, and I think the doilies are old as well, but I'm not 100% sure because I get them from someone else who I'm pretty sure gets them secondhand. I'm not sure, but uh, I know the lace is old, uh, this one. I know the paper is super old. doesn't matter your definition of old. That's really old because it's like 200 years old-ish, give or take. Um, some of this is old as well. Uh, this came from an old wedding dress. Uh, some old lace back here. So yeah, old, 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 old. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.